All right, um, here's a bit of my collection. We're gonna start at one end, and then, you know, a couple hours we should be down at the other end. Um, right here, I got a whole bunch of big box horror. Um, all kinds of stuff from, we got video gems. Um, got a bunch of stuff on here to some rare, well, Love Me Deadly is one people go after. Um, House of Death is a fun one with some gore on the cover that has a little bit of uh, collectability. Uh, go down through, I got some random stuff in here, film gore with uh, hosted by Elvira, that's kind of a rare one. Uh, tear on Video City, Chop em Ups, that's a rare one. Um, these are really aren't in any particular order right through here. Um, down here I got a couple air video in my magnums, uh, big boxes, you know, Barn of the Naked Dead's in there, you know, Andy Warhol's Dracula, some cool big boxes you don't always see around. Um, down here I got some of these World of Horror. Um, you got Journey from the Beyond and the Child, they're a cool little, little label there. Uh, Comet video, I got a couple, I got the Gore Trilogy from Blood Feast, 2000 Maniacs, Color Me Blood Red, Herschel Gordon Lewis, uh, Alien Prey, I got a couple API, here's kind of a rare API, Beauties and a Beast, uh, Big Box, kind of one of those animals going after women, animal men going for women type movies. You know, everybody loves them. Uh, some Force video down here, White Slave, that's a cool cover. It's based on a true story. Wow. Uh, Monterey Home Video, got some cool stuff. Fight for Your Life, The Grim Reaper, Anthropophagus. Um, Human Beasts, stuff like that. Mardi Gras Massacre on VC2, Prowler. Planet Video is a really ultra rare label. They were one of the earlier labels of the big box. And pretty much anything you can find on Planet Video is worth finding. It's a cool little big box label. The one Nightmare in a Damaged Brain that I have too on the other side is one of the ultimate collectibles for hard VHS fans when it comes to uh, you know, a particular label. Um, this is a mix of things. Got some Paragon big boxes, some beta porno, uh, just don't know why I have it, I found it at a flea market, you know, there's a little bit of sleaze in this collection, a little bit of hard, a little bit of exploitation, but all some kind of cult or alternative type of cinema, mostly horror, um, you know, trap them and kill them on the big clamshell from Twilight video, people are into finding that one, um, bunch of these scimitar, this is my scimitar label, this is victims, comes on there, a lot of people after this. I got five or six of them here. They're pretty cool label. You don't see them around that often. They have a little smaller type of clamshell that's like kind of tight. It's pretty cool. Um, I don't know. Werewolves on Wheels. IFS. Some Saturn video. Uh, some other rare ones. Night Child. Some clamshells. Down here just got some MGM and some Warner boxes. A couple Astral videos. This is a cool The Prowler on Astral video. That's a Canadian label that's kind of collectible. Reina, The Legend of Shadow Lake with a goofy cover there, scary guy. Um, that's a cool label, it's hard to find. Uh, down here I got some Spanish har and some Spanish sleaze. Um, the Car of Death, you know, with some crazy cover. I like these Spanish flicks, they got, they always got something going for me. I don't know whether it's just weirdness, uh, sleaze, uh, violence, just Chaos. There's a couple sex-oriented ones here that have some lurid cover art, airbrush style. Um, just all kinds of stuff. They just, there's, I don't know. There's always something weird going on in these Spanish films, so I've been really into watching them. Got a bunch down here too, and a couple Italian films. Profundo Russo. I got Terror Express down here. A couple different ones. Um, but that's kind of like one side of my clamshell and big box and a little bit of Spanish. I got a similar setup on the other side that we'll get to. Um, and through here, uh, this little section here is we've got Prism, which was, you know, your typical 80s uh, clamshell era. You know, lots of horror movies coming out on clamshell. Prism has a lot of stuff in the horror category. Some good stuff too. Man from Deep River, 
nothing's really overly rare from Prism that I know of. There are some that don't pop up as often, um, but pretty much you can find most of these pretty easily. Um, when you get into the MPI here, this is Gorgon MPI. Uh, there's a lot of rare flicks on this label. You don't see them pop up quite as often. I think it's a little, maybe a little older era. Uh, Dracula's Great Love, Don't Look in the Basement, both the original Faces of Death on their original clamshells from back in the day. I was excited about getting these because I just, I mean, these movies are kind of have a history in themselves of uh, just disturbing the entire country through via video store. Um, you know, lots of death scenes and then they all turned out to be fake and stuff anyway. So it was kind of like this whole funny thing. And it was cool to have the, like some of the original ones. Um, there's a couple other just rare stuff here and there, you know, that you don't always see. Die Sister Die, which Josh from Lunch Meat had on one of his covers. Um, it's a VHS magazine he puts out. Um, 